when we spoke to the Manipur CM, he mentioned HIV, he mentioned TB, and Reckitt has sort of now partnered and or is in Manipur working with the Prime Minister's scheme for a TB Mukt Bharat, in a sense. You know, why are we struggling so hard with TB in a sense? You know, especially in India, because it's multi-drug resistant. And the reason it's multi-drug resistant is because there's also speaking again of behavior and discipline and control. We don't seem to have that when it comes to taking the medicines we're given or taking it right or we over-medicate or there's so much contamination in the food and water with the medication that we become multi-drug resistant. So how is this working and you know how is Reckitt with the TB Mukh Bharat like where is yeah. this going? Uh, thank you so much Swati for asking this question. Uh, first thing first is the geographies in the Northeast. They're quite complex. Uh, second is like you know like uh, Mr. Bachchan was just mentioning about you know frontline health workers swimming, uh, going for a huge distance, delivering polio vaccines. This is almost same situation in many parts, especially in the hilly regions. Uh, government really wants to do something. They have uh, public voices which are very strong. A voice for hepatitis, voice for uh, smallpox, voice for polio. Many times the voices come like the medical voices, which are very difficult to you know, translate to the common citizens or to you know, everyone. So it's important, like, uh, there's more engagement, there's more airtime, there's more GRPs. What government actually gives to the public service messaging, more in the regional languages, and not just in Hindi and English. Like, we do work in uh, most of the tribal districts in India, where the real need is on the Human Development Index. In Maharashtra itself, like uh, the people who speak, uh, you know, uh, Bheel and Pavdi in uh, Nandurbar and Amravati. When the intervention started, we thought like, you know, Marathi will suffice, but that's not the thing. So behavioral nudges are very important, which should be culturally adaptive. And it should be basically a part and parcel of the communication package, which is getting delivered. Uh, on your second question, uh, Swati, like uh, on the TB part, TB, HIV co-infection is something which is not new. It's been uh, for a while. Uh, I have worked on the NACP-1, National AIDS Control Program Phase 1, 2, 3, led the big interventions, worked on the price control for the ART medicines when I was with the Clintons in my last uh, uh, assignment for the Asia-Pacific. I was heading that. So the basic question is basically, you know, how, many, how much efforts are actually going into that? Because both departments were seen very differently with a global fund CCM mechanism now. And, you know, uh, you have the NGO sector leads like Plan and Path and many others. They're playing a very important role to bridge the gaps, which were the intersectoral gap between the Ministry of, uh, you know, Health, the, the RNTCP, Revised National Tuberculosis uh, Control Program, and the National AIDS Control Program. There were two programs running very parallelly. So now the conversions which is happening uh, by the by, the virtue of uh, you know the country coordination mechanism, and how the global fund has actually put the task forces in India, that's changing the landscape. I'm very sure uh, with organisations like Plan who are actually covering whole of India almost uh, for the TB HIV co-infection and many other things. So we are going to see the good days, and most importantly, ma'am, like you have just mentioned, uh, important is like how we stop the new infections. So new infections needs to be stopped. Thank you.